Curious to see what our family of six eats on our monthly budget of $475? Well then you're in luck because that's what this video is all about. I'm Kristen here at Driftly Thriving and I'm so glad you're here. If you are working hard at saving money on groceries and who isn't these days, well then that is what I am all here to talk about and to share with you all the time. I have a frugal grocery haul every week and then once a month I do a wrap up like this and I kind of give you the quick highlight reel of every single thing I bought in the month as well as the costs and I'll also share my menu so you can see how we're using that to feed our family of six. Like I said, if you're new here, um, we are a family of six in Northern Indiana. We have four kids, my husband and I, ages nine, seven, five, and three. And I shop at a variety of stores, it really depends. I am amazed actually at how my month ended shopping wise because you'll see in the video, I started out shopping at Kroger quite a bit this month. I just, they had some really good deals at the beginning of the month and I thought, oh, it's gonna be tough to stay under budget. But spoiler, I did. And stay tuned to the end because I'm gonna show you that exact total and what I'm going to do with the money that I managed to save this month. One of the big reasons I can do this every month and I shop so frugally is because I do have a stockpile. This month, in addition to my regular grocery shopping, I did set aside a separate stockpiling budget of $250. And so if you're curious how I've been spending that, be sure to check out those videos. I already have a $100 stockpiling trip at Walmart, $100 to Sam's, and coming up soon is going to be the $50 to Aldi next week. Those stockpiling trips are on Mondays and my frugal grocery hauls are on Thursdays. If this sounds like something you love too, then be sure to go ahead and subscribe so that you don't miss any of those. All right, let's get to it. I'm going to go ahead and show you every single trip that I bought this month. After every trip, I will share, well, I'll share the date at the beginning of the trip, then I'll share that total as well as a running total in the gray box so you can see how it adds up throughout the month. Then stay tuned at the end and I will show you um, our menus for the month and what I am doing going into November. All right, let's get started. October 1st, let's get this month started with the haul at Kroger. All right, went in to pick up some weekly deals, starting with 99 cent, 18 count eggs, amazing deal, grab four of those. Milk was 2.69, cake mix is 99 cents. Bags of potatoes and hash browns, 2.99 each. I had already bought five hash browns at the end of last month, so I just bought one of those and two fries. More 99 cent cream cheese, shouldn't have to stock up until after Christmas, I hope, but it was such a great price. Cheese, 2.99, good price for that. Chips, $2.99 for lunches next week. Three bags of apples, they were each $3.99 for the three pound bags. Granny Smith and Two Pink Lady, they were out of the Honeycrisp. I had thought I had a $10 off $10 produce coupon. Unfortunately, it did not come off. That was why I bought the three eggs. It must have expired, sadly. Um, so anyway, grab the apples, still a decent price and I'm okay with that. And then Holy Guacamole was actually buy one, get one free, so $3.99 for one and zero for the other. So basically $2 a package for that. So I grabbed all that. And at Kroger for this trip, I spent $57.84. And that will start out our October shopping. October 2nd, I was back at Kroger and the potatoes were back in stock. So I grabbed the petite potatoes for $1.99 with a digital coupon limit five. Grabbed some sweet onions for $4.99 for the five pound bag. Lettuce for $1.79. The bread was still 99 cents, as was the cream cheese, restocked on that. And then happened to notice the Caesar salad kit for a dollar. I'll leave that for my lunch. And then these avocado cups for $1.84, even though they don't expire for a couple weeks yet. So grabbed all those things and spent $25.67 on this Kroger trip. And we'll go ahead and add that to the gray box in the corner for our monthly total of October so far. October 4th, I went back to Kroger again. Yes, I realize we're only four days into the month and I've been to Kroger three times. This was a new sale, so I wanted to stock up on those while they were available. So here's what I got this month. There were some good deals to start us out. Apple juice was $1.79, limit five. Suave conditioner, $1.99, free agua fresca. Daya cheese was $1.99, fabulous deal. We don't eat this, but this is for an allergy friend and their family, so I grabbed those. Chocolate chips were $1.99. I grabbed three minis and two butterscotch, limit five, planning head for holiday baking. Two zucchini I needed for a recipe. Craft mayo was actually $2.99 on sale. 
weekly deal was $1.29 for the half gallons, including chocolate. So I grabbed two chocolate, two white. Four pound bags of sugar were $1.99. Excited to see a baking sale already. Graham crackers were $1.99 right there. Oreos were $1.99. And then wheat thins were $2.50. The five pound bags of potatoes were $2.49. So I went ahead and grabbed two bags of that. And then pork was on sale for $1.49. Each of these packages are about a pound and a half. I've been buying it whenever I can find it in stock and just sticking it in the freezer just like that because it's a cheap protein to have on hand and in our freezer. So for this counter of groceries at Kroger, I spent, oh, and I had a $10 off coupon that came off my purchase. So that was super exciting. So after that, for everything here you see, I spent $66.25. And we'll add that to our total for the beginning of October. And I will not be shopping again for a couple days. Won't be going back to Kroger until the sale ads change. October 11th, I did a trip to Meijer today to pick up just a couple sales. I wanted to grab Capri Sun for $1.99 on sale. I grabbed six of those, as well as four Ranch for $1.99. Grab those. Bananas, just because they, my kids wanted some, and yogurt for $2.65. And then I grabbed some enchilada sauce. It was on sale for $1.49. And I had a digital coupon for $1 off three. And then I grabbed three refried beans as well for $1.49. And then I had a $2 off coupon that did come off on all those groceries. While I was there, I also happened to notice some clearance finds that I scoped up or scooped up, excuse me, quickly. My husband needed socks, five pairs for seven dollars in dress socks. I thought that was a good deal. We'll give those a try. And then their shoes were actually 75% off the lowest price. So originally these were 22. I ended up getting these for four for my daughter for church. They were in her size and those will work great. Um, if they don't fit Emma, then we'll just save them for Lily for next summer. For that price, couldn't pass it up. And then same thing, these are my uh, Caleb's next size. Originally 20, I got them for um, $3 because it was 75% off the 12, which was amazing. Just again, some sandals that he can wear in the summer there. So we have a shoe bin and I will just add those to there. there to hold on to them until next summer. But for the groceries at Meijer, those couple things, I spent $30.73. And then when I came home, I actually had a Walmart order, or excuse me, I had a um, Amazon order waiting for me. And some of these things are counting grocery budget wise, some are not. The enchilada sauce was running me, it was a special, it was $17.82, which actually works out to about $1.50 a can. And I was restocking, so I grabbed a case of that. And then I also grabbed contact solution. It was $17.25. These are the things coming out of my grocery budget right there. The highlighters were $3. Grab those for school. I am not counting vitamins in our budget. Melatonin gummies were $12.55. Vitamin C was $9.89. And then I wanted to try this. Any recommendations on how to use this? The peanut butter powder, it was a special, and it was $7.68 for 30 ounces, which the funny thing was I'd been eyeing the generic at Walmart, and it's like $10 for the generic of that size. So I scooped this up. Um, I want to try it. I've heard stirred in like plain Greek yogurt. It's really good. Just a way to get some extra protein and give that a try. So grab those couple things. But the, for the enchilada sauce in Boston, which is coming out of, and this is Boston Contact Solution. If you don't know, I wear gas permeable contacts. So that's what I, what that is. Those two things from Amazon are $35.07. And we'll add that to the gray box in the corner, which is my running total for October, doing pretty well for middle of the month. October 16th, I ran into Kroger and grabbed a couple things on this week's sale. I was restocking apple juice at $1.99. Large bags of chips were $2.99, plus I had an 80 cent off digital coupon. Triscuits were $2.50 a box. Not the best deal I've seen, but sadly, that's pretty close to the generic, even at Aldi or Walmart, and Triscuits do taste way better. My daughter Emma loves these and takes them in her lunch almost every day. So we stocked a little bit here. Large blocks of cheese, the two pound blocks, were um, $5.99 plus I had a dollar off. So that takes it down below $1.50 a pound, and that is still my stock up price if I can find it. Only reason I brought two was because I actually have quite a bit of cheese in the fridge. Thankfully, it lasts a really long time. I mean, you can see that's March. You know, we're six months out on that still, which is great. Then I also grabbed some yogurt for $1.99. 
cottage cheese for $2.29 and sour cream for $2.49. All generics, all with expirations more than six weeks out. We will definitely use it all before then. I was hoping to grab the store brand chicken for $1.99. They didn't have much left and it didn't look great, but I saw this and it was $2.49 a pound. So I did actually choose to pay a little bit more and grab two packages of that today. Just look better for that. So for this trip to Kroger, I spent $61.97, as you see in the teal box. And we'll go ahead and add that to our gray box, which is my running total for the month of October now. October 18th, I ran into Kroger again to grab this week's sales and a brisket. Okay, here's the thing about the brisket. If you caught this on my weekly haul, it was normally um, $5.99. This would have been $100 for this piece of meat. It was $2.99, so I got it for $50. It still feels like a lot, but this is a belated birthday present for my husband on his smoker. I had promised I'd buy him another brisket next time it went on sale. We will get several meals out of it, and I have to say it was amazing so glad I bought it now and we'll put that away so my husband can smoke it but coming out of my grocery budget we're just a couple sales this week I wanted to grab the limoncello which is my favorite LaCroix it was $2.99 a box so I grabbed the limit five I've already bought apple juice this month I know but it was $1.49 now of course and I bought five of those and then I bought potatoes. I was super excited because five pounds of potatoes were actually $1.99, and it's been a long time since we saw prices that, though. I went ahead and grabbed my limit of five, and I will dry them out, put them in our dark basement in a big basket, put a little paper in between them, newspaper. They will last a long time, which is wonderful because we love potatoes at our house, especially baked potatoes and my girls. So for this trip at Kroger, counting the LaCroix, apple juice, and potatoes, I spent $32.35, and we'll add that to our total for the month of October. October 20th, I headed to Sam's Club and was stockpiling some things there. You can see that in a separate video. But while I was there, I also picked up some things for our kitchen. I grabbed tortilla chips for $12.78. Seems a lot, but when you break it down per pound, it comes out to $2.13, which I can't find anywhere else. And they're really good tortilla chips. Grabbed those. Diced peach cups because, again, they were cheaper than any of the sales I've been finding, so I decided to go ahead and get the 24. They're marked down currently to $10.98, which works out to 46 cents a cup. Great deal. Grab the applesauce again. It allows me to stock up this way, and this was the first time I've done this in a while. I had bought the generic, but bought, grabbed the Mott's. It was $11.78 or $0.33 cents a cup, so should be stocked for a little bit for lunches there. String cheese, 48 cups or 48 strip pieces of string cheese for $9.74 or $0.20 cents a piece of cheese. Applesauce, you know I always buy that there. It works, it's $7.98 or $2.66 a jar, and it's again, name brand for that. Gogurt was on sale um, for $1.50 off, so it was $5.28, which basically works out to $1.32 a box. My kids were super excited about that. Grabbed milk because I was there at $2.72, pretty comparable. I was there, grabbed it. And then broccoli florets, the frozen broccoli. Hadn't bought this a while, we were totally out. $6.98 for four bags or $1.75 a bag. And of all the broccoli I've tried, this really is the best frozen broccoli because you actually get true florets without all the stem pieces. So, no, oh, I also had a $7 off credit there that I used. So for all of this after the credit, I spent $60.67 and we'll go ahead and add that to our running total for October. October 30th, I'm calling it my last trip of the month here and it was at Kroger just a couple things. I knew I was under budget so I really decided to just keep it as low as I could and just grab the couple things I needed. I grabbed milk, $2.79. The chocolate milk was on sale for $1.49. Only grabbed one of those. Really needed eggs. I was totally out, so I grabbed two, um, 18 eggs for $2.19. I was looking for the five pound bags of apples that were on sale for $5.99. They were sold out, but the three pounds were $3.99 and I had a dollar off coupon, so $2.99. I wish I had known that coupon was there. I might have bought another bag, but Grab the one, I will watch for that again next week and I need to restock our apples. 
grab two loaves of bread for homemade Uncrustables, $1.79, um, but I had a 60 cent off coupon, so that took off two, so it took it down to $1.49, which isn't terrible. I was there, just wanted to go ahead and grab it. And then here's something I haven't bought in, I don't know, the last time I bought a chuck roast. It's normally um, $6.99 a pound. Actually, no, it's normally $7.99 a pound, but this week it was marked down slightly, but if you had your card, it was $4.99 a pound. So I went ahead and grabbed one of these. It worked out to um, just under $15 here for the not quite three pounds. So for these couple things here, I spent $24.97, and I'll show you that total here in just a minute. All right, I know you're ready to see that total, but for those of you who are curious, I have requests for our menus. So this is just what works for us. You will notice that we eat pretty simply. We have a lot of repeats. I'll just go through the month quickly. Poppy seed chicken, we started out the month. That's always a family favorite. Tacos, poppy seed chicken leftovers. It worked for two nights. Tried a new recipe for one pot hamburger helper, which not everyone loved, so I won't do that one again. Pioneer sheet cake pancakes. Sometimes we do breakfast for dinner and the kids love that when I make that one. We were at my in-laws and had a wedding that weekend so we weren't eating there. We were back at my in-laws. I took appetizers over that night. Then in the next week we had chili and baked potatoes. A leftover night. I try to work that in once a week. Chicken and potato casserole. Cheese and potato casserole. Some chicken nuggets. My kids aren't a fan. If you remember last month, they bought some chicken nuggets. They don't really love them. The air fryer, new air fryer does help. I probably won't be buying them again, honestly. Hamburgers and fries that night. Nachos is a typical rotation too. We had German Fest after church on that Sunday. Cheesy chicken, pork tenderloins, and baked potatoes. We seem to have baked potatoes at least once a week if you know my girls love baked potatoes. Enchilada casserole. My husband and I had parent-teacher conferences that night that we were leading up at school, so the kids got Pizza Hut as we were doing that. We grabbed them that. Nelson's Chicken, anyone in northern Indiana knows it's a kind of a fundraiser, rotisserie chicken that schools sell. Very good, so the eighth grade at school was selling that for Washington, D.C., and we grabbed some chicken. Nachos the next night, and pasta, then we had some more chicken leftovers, quesadillas. We were at my sister's for a couple days on fall break. Came back and cooked hamburgers that Saturday. We had chicken nuggets on Sunday, cheesy chicken on Monday, and then we will finish out the month with pizza before we trick or treat at my in-laws. And those were our menus for the month of October. All right, now let's talk about the totals for the month. All right, so our monthly budget is $475, and this month I actually ended October by spending $395.52. That was pretty amazing. And going into last week, I was thinking about this and I thought, okay, I'm gonna do another big stockpiling trip. I'm gonna just kind of restock some of the things that we need. And then as I was thinking about it more, I thought intentionally, I said, no, I'm not actually. I'm gonna wait. I am going to roll the extra this month, that $75 I was under budget, and I'm gonna roll it into November. And here's why. November and December are two of the best months around for baking sales. I bake a lot. <laughs> I use butter a lot. I am baking with sugar and cookies. I bake our homemade bread. I'm making homemade lunches for our kids. I, baking's my love language. I love to do it. And I bake regularly for other people, teachers, friends, etc. So I love to bake. One of the ways I'm able to do it is that I shop the sales hugely by stocking up. Last November and December, I bought enough butter to get me almost through the full year. It got me to Easter and then I restocked at Easter and I am still finishing up that last bit of butter from those sales because butter lasts a really long time and you can store it in the freezer. And then I just take it straight from the freezer to the fridge and I use it just like that. So. By moving that $75 into November, that gives me actually $550 to spend and allows me to really go ahead and stock up on the baking sales. My goal is to buy enough butter to last me for most of the year. How much butter is that, you ask? Well, let's see how good the sales are. I'm still tallying it up, so if you wanna find out, be sure you stay tuned for all those trips next week because I will let you know when and where butter is on sale so you can stock up as well, and you'll see how much I end up buying. <laughs> but in addition to that, I'm hoping to stock up on sugar, 
um, things around November, you're gonna see canned goods going on sale. And this is a great time to buy your canned beans, your canned corn, those things that have shelf life for a really long time. This is a great way to save your family money. So take advantage of all these great sales that are coming up, the chocolate chips, anything that you think you're gonna use or you know you will use and go ahead and stock up. I'm super excited that I actually am gonna have a little extra room to do that and I'm glad the month ended out lower. Like I said, you saw, I started out shopping a lot at Kroger and my trips really do vary week to week, which is why I still like having a monthly budget because it gives me a lot of flexibility to adjust for those sales. All right, as always, thanks so much for joining me. Um, I will be back on Thursday with my normal grocery haul. I share that every Thursday if you wanna see what I'm buying for the week and what the good sales are, so you can scoop up some of those as well. And then next Monday, I will have the $50 stockpiling trip to Aldi. So I'll be back for that. And then coming soon, you will see a complete look at my updated stockpile as I finish up all that restocking. So you can see again, proof of how our family really does function. Um, on a budget because we kind of have a grocery store in our basement and that's what works for us. And I hope that all these trips, all the, everything I'm sharing can help encourage you to stock up a bit too and just to work hard at saving your family money but enjoying the process too because I'm right here to encourage you as you go along. Thanks so much for joining me and I will see you in the next video.